My name is Dr. Derek Pohl. I'm the Interventional Cardiologist and Director of Cardiology at La Trobe Regional Hospital, and we are currently in our uh, main cath lab facility. So the way the patient will end up in our cath lab is that they would usually be seen by their GP initially, and they would be screened to have you know, either chest pain and they want further investigation, or they've been found to have valvular disease needing in further investigation, and they get you know, referred to a cardiologist. And then it's the cardiologist that sees the patient, makes an assessment about, you know, do we need to rule out coronary artery disease, they've had a positive stress test, uh, or that they've found that they've got some valvular disease that'll need surgery, and then we're doing a workup for that as well. Our typical cases are mostly elective, so patients that have come in from the community, usually from a cardiologist that have seen them and screened the patient and has identified them as likely having coronary disease or valvular disease that will need surgery. Um, so that's probably making up 70, 80% of our typical patients. But since February this year, we've been doing inpatients as well. And that's now including acute coronary syndromes and minor heart attacks. So I think the community would be surprised with the type of work that we're doing. Uh, I don't think that we've advertised the, the great work that we have been doing, particularly you know, since February this year. Uh, traditionally, patients of Gippsland and the community of Gippsland have had to be serviced by tertiary cardiovascular services. Now that we're sort of growing and establishing you know, ourselves and we've got the Melbourne doctors you know, here at La Trobe, patients don't have to go to the, the city anymore. And we're, we're doing the same things that they're doing. Our outcomes are just as good. We're using higher rates of intracoronary imaging than the average uh, lab is doing in Melbourne. So we're trying to offer them you know, world-class care and service in La Trobe Valley. So the future is very bright. So we've had fantastic support from the executive team. We're planning to build a second cath lab in the next six months, and that's just to maintain or, or keep up with our demand. Since we started in, in February uh, this year, we've doubled the number of cases we're doing every month. That's with the same amount of cath lab time. We've started to do inpatients. We're doing more complex procedures as well. And our end goal is to have a major heart attack service within the next 12 months. And so that's what we're gearing up and preparing to do. So we'll be building another lab hopefully in the next six months. Traditionally, if a, a general practitioner has had a patient that they've been worried about, they haven't really had a local service that they can rely on to do the screening and then also the intervention. You know, traditionally, you go back a few years, they've had to do all of this in Melbourne. So this is a major step forward for, you know, the GPs working in the community and then also the patients as well. So in regard, regards to recovery rates, they're probably similar, but we know that our long-term outcomes, looking at sort of Victorian Cardiac Outcomes Registry, that regional patients treated in regional centres do better compared to regional patients transferred to Melbourne for their care. The exact mechanism or what's involved with that, we're still not quite sure, but the data is pretty clear that regional patients treated locally do better.